There you go. There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, you've just caught me reading some Harry Potter. Harry turned the card back over and saw to his astonishment that Dumbledore's face had disappeared. I've never seen Harry Potter, I've never read Harry Potter, in fact I've only read two books in my life. Of course, they're going to be my own, available on Amazon worldwide. But today is not about my method of choice, today is a very special video, in fact it's quite a deadline tight video thing to do. Come here Chloe. Oh. Hello. Hello. Um, what am I doing today? Well, it's, it's someone's birthday, isn't it? Phoebe's birthday. Phoebe's birthday <laughs> on Wednesday. Yeah. And I might, might not be here. I might be in Stuart's film that day, first time ever missing it, but I'm not going to miss it fully, am I? Because I'm going to try and make... A golden snitch cake for Phoebe from Harry Potter. Because we know what a golden snitch is, don't we? Yes. Do we? I do. Brilliant. So I'm going to try and do this thing called a golden snitch, which sounds like someone in prison. I'm not even going to go there. Effectively, it's like a big gold bowl thing. It's got wings. <sighs> if I can pull this off, it'll be amazing. But back in the days for me, I just had a vanilla sponge cake with jam wedge between it and a little candle stuck on top. Huh? Kids these days. So obviously to make the ball, you can get these really cool football cake moulds, but it's not quite big enough for what I want to do. Uh, I actually got told the other day that you can bake mixing bowls. I've never really thought about putting a mixing bowl in the oven. Well, Pyrex ones. This isn't Pyrex, but it looks the same. So hopefully it doesn't shatter. But the aim will be, um, one will give us a flat bottom for the cake to sit on, uh, and we're going to put it on top and then make an extra little bit to give it a little sort of bumpy nipple on the top to make the round ball thing, right? Well, I think I'd best start off by making the filling because if these bowls shatter, then that's kind of the dream shattered of this snitch. But I think, I hope it's going to work. So grease it up. And this one. What flavour did you want it to be? Chocolate brownie. Chocolate brownie. Okay, so Mrs. Barry's legendary chocolate brownie mix that you guys have like made loads of times. I've made two amounts of the batter right here. If you missed the video, I'll put a link in the description down the video, but I've got it in slightly bigger bowls than what this is. So hopefully I was thinking I'd get even sizes. Just pouring it in. Ah, oh, it felt a bit silly making it into larger bowls and not using those bowls, but I just wanted to make sure that I've got pretty much an even amount. All right, so this, we're gonna go for the same temperature we normally do it, so 160C fan. All right, here we go then. And it normally takes 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, I don't know, it might need a little bit longer than that because it's gonna be a bit deeper. We'll go 25. So anyhow, this squidditch ball thing, we uh, are kind of there, if, as long as I don't hear a with the bowls breaking, which could happen, I generally don't know. Uh, as long as that doesn't happen, we're gonna be all right. Uh, but the other thing this ball thing has is wings. The way I wanted to do the wings was I wanted to try and get some sort of paper, like edible wafer paper, which is really hard to get hold of. I ordered some on Amazon. It's actually been delayed. So uh, I'm gonna try and bodge that towards the end. But if we can get this to work, my focus will then go on that. The 25 minutes has been up in the oven, it needs a little bit longer. I might put some foil on top if it starts to burn, but I want to make sure it's cooked through. I've just found this. This is like a golden squidditch snitch, hover quidditch ball golden sni snitch, golden snitch, yep, Harry Potter, ching. Uh, it's basically kind of like a flying drone thing, but the wings on this one, and I quite like this, they're actually silver rather than gold. So rather than making it all gold, we'll go for a gold, golden ball because it's a golden snitch, but it's going to have silver wings. Okay? I think I'm basically just trying to make a flux capacitor. I'm trying to try and convert you to Back to the Future, all right? Okay. I would love to have done a DeLorean cake. Next time. It's been in the oven for nearly 60 minutes. I've covered it in foil so it doesn't burn, but I really want to cook it through, so it's almost three times as long. So I'm going to start to get the shape of the wings for the squidditch ball. Squid um, no, golden snitch, right? Yeah. I'm learning, I'm learning. Now I do know that Harry Potter, or Barry Potter, has a bolt of lightning down his head, and I was gonna do that, but this is a Sharpie, so we ain't doing that, are we? No. no. Uh, got a pen. No, I didn't ask it. <laughs> what the heck have you done? I don't know. Went a bit wrong. It's all right, actually. <laughs> looks like a battle scar. <laughs> so I've traced my other side, and actually it looks a little bit like a dinosaur. Huh? But I'll use the non-sharpie side, so for each one, I can turn it over, turn it over, and I'll have, hopefully, see, that's the wings. Do you get where I'm coming from? Yeah. I do know one line from Barry Potter. 
You're a wizard, Barry. All right, here they are. I've taken the foil off. Give them a good old test with the bamboo skewer. It's still a teeny weeny bit gooey right at the bottom, but that will firm up. So that has had 70 minutes in the oven. I'm going to let it fully cool down so we can work on the buttercream. Phoebe wanted a mint chocolate cake, so we're going to do a mint buttercream. We've got loads of ice and sugar there. Do not inhale it. We're going to butter it up. So this is some uh, room temperature butter. Well, hey, don't you just love it how ice and sugar goes everywhere? Obviously, you could do this step with an electric whisk or a stand mixer. That's a lot more sensible, but I do like to kind of beat it myself and get it soft and fluffy and smooth. We can loosen it if we want with a little splash of milk. Not much. And just because everything mint needs to be mint, we've got some green food dye here. All right, there we go. Look at that. So I've got some peppermint. Oh, it smells like toothpaste. Half a teaspoon of that initially. Oh, yeah, just enough. Do not overpower it. You don't want it to be like mint. If you've ever grown mint from scratch in your garden, plant one little bit, about a week later. <laughs> okay, I forgot to say, I made another quick batch of the brownie mix, and this is actually really hot. These are half circle, half circle uh, molds to make, hopefully, or assist with the rounding of the top of the thing. But before that, this <laughs> is gonna help us make the wings. Oh. Right, so these are gonna go in to my wings, which are made of chocolate. We're gonna set them in so they can stick them in the cake. So here's a template from earlier. I've got my wire and I'm gonna stick it down one end about there. And I'm actually gonna set that little bit of wire into my template. I was gonna use a Ziploc bag, but then I remembered I had this bottle from the uh, pancake art video. And I got some melted milk chocolate going in there. Can you hear my washing machine? I like to keep it authentic. So let's just try this. Oh, it's coming out quite nice. This is cool. Just gonna try and get an initial shape on it first of all. So now I've got a bit of a boundary on it. I'm gonna fill it. I was mulling over doing lines like this, but I kind of want to make it a little stronger and I'm gonna just do indentations instead, which I think will still look cool. The main thing is also to get a little set on that wire, because that's what's gonna ultimately hold it to the cake. Okay, I'm actually really, really happy with that. All right, I've done the second one and I'm gonna leave them both uh, just to sit for about five minutes. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit bored while I was waiting for it to set, <laughs> but it's not fully set, but this is good. This is what I want. Watch this. Because I did this for another reason. I wanted to see how long it takes for me to pour it. I mean, just tip it like that and you can see uh, that one is actually, <laughs> the balloon is moving. Okay, the balloon. We have movement, but the other bits, and this was done 10 minutes after, aren't moving, but they're still set. Because as you can see on here, what I'm aiming for, the wings have got kinks in them, and there's a way to do that. So my plan to give it a kink, it must be with a Barry Lewis mug, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna lift it up and wrap it like that. And that is gonna set in that shape. It's not got any movement in it now because it's sort of semi-set. I'm gonna let it fully go like that. There you go. There's something you don't see every day. <laughs> so I'm gonna let these set. I'm probably gonna stick them in the fridge in a minute. I'm not sure if you can see, but to try and give it that little feather effect, I'm getting a bamboo skewer and just doing some very gentle lines. All right, so here's the first uh, brownie half. It's um, well, It's got the cracked brownie top on it, as you would expect, but it's pretty stubborn and sat there and doing its thing, ready for its mate to be sat on top. So the buttercream can fill out any layers. Um, we can actually frost the outside as well. So let's start doing it. It's like a massive green burger. Right, so now that's on there, I can fill in all the gaps and really start to make it a thing. I've got my uh, smaller one that I made that if I break it up a little bit, with the help of the buttercream, I could probably get a nice rounded top on it. Obviously with the rounded cake pan, that bit would be a little bit easier, but I quite like the idea that I'm showing you how to do it with this bit as well. All right, let's see if this has worked. It looks like it has. <laughs> right, it can stay in this position because I got some of this. Silver paint. It's edible, honest, it's not from my garage. I gotta be honest, 
it's kind of added like a metallic slash gold vibe to it. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> you need to go back in the fridge. You need to go back in the fridge. Oh, no. Did I break you? Um, ears, folks. Look. They keep breaking. It's a hot day. And they're weak. They're really weak uh, with the bends in it. It needs to be thicker. I think I'm going to use my template and just do them flat so they're stronger and just stick out like ears. I hate rolling out icing, especially when I forget to press record on my camera and the microphone's off. I just had a scene of me going, but basically I'm rolling out a big sheet of icing with lots of icing sugar underneath so it doesn't stick to my worktop. Not too sure, but I think that's gonna be enough. <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got way too much. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, let's trade that on. I will need some of this excess. I love that. That looks awesome. All right, Phoebes, you keep researching, mate. I'm gonna start on the easy bit. This is where Mrs. Barry takes over. That okay. face. Concentration. <laughs> We're going back there. These are my replacement wings. So here's the good and bad news. The good news is, Phoebe, you're gonna have an amazing cake for your birthday. <laughs> the bad news is where I wetted the icing earlier, some of the gold is just running off a little bit so I can't finish it because it just keeps breaking. Some of it at the back is perfect. I'm in Stuart's film and I need to be in London first thing tomorrow morning. I was hoping to be there now. It's quite late at night. I've got one more train to catch in about 20 minutes. I haven't packed, I'm still covered. Have I still got that on my head? I think it's just sort of worn off. <laughs> Should we see if the wings have worked? Yes. <laughs> it's not holding. Um, so I've come to London and uh, yeah, we're doing Stuart's film. Uh, and whilst at home, I've got this Harry Potter cake just sat there. Good news is I can come home tomorrow. Yeah. So how's the film going? It's going pretty good, actually. Yeah. We've got all the shots thus far, yeah. which is kind of the most important thing. That, that, <laughs> if you get in the edit, you're like, oh, <laughs> you forgot to film the, the main character or something. If it was only keeping the lens cap on. Oh, that's a classic, yeah. yeah. Are we recording sound? Yeah. Did we turn up? Um, oh. Right, I'm going like to go home now. Morning. Morning. I got back from London and I'm going to finish that Harry Potter cake today. And it's Phoebe's birthday. Yay. I'm so tired. Yes, you can come down. All right. Yeah. You got post. Dear Phoebe, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Whilst Phoebe opens her birthday presents, um, the wings. What happened to them while well, I've been away? Uh, they broke. Are you throwing them out? No, I left them on the side as evidence, so you didn't think I just eat them. <laughs> you eat the wings. Did the paper arrive? Yep, the paper's arrived, so you can do that. Cool. All right, let's finish this off. It's actually raining now. This time yesterday, I was roasting. It was really hot in London, dressed as a chef butler, chef assistant in uh, Stuart's film. So do check that out uh, when it comes out. I'll let you know about it. This, this is doing its thing. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to touch it up a little bit, but something arrived. As we know, wings didn't work. Uh, it looks more like a fish. <laughs> But that was only a last minute thing that I tried to do because I'd ordered this to arrive. This is wafer, actually this is wafer card. You can get wafer paper. You kind of get sweets made out of it or cakes are modeled from it. They make flowers and stuff like that from it. Uh, but this, yes, ingredients, potato starch, water, oil, and maltodox to trin, to trin. But I ordered the card instead of the paper because I wanted it to be a bit more stronger. This tastes disgusting. <laughs> But it just, it actually feels just like card. So um, I could have, definitely use this for something else one day if I ever need to make an edible book. So I've still got my template uh, and my aim is to spray this silver or paint it silver. I've got both uh, and make the wingy thing. So uh, let's just jump to that. I'm gonna cut this into this or the other way around. I think we're starting to get somewhere. So as you look at it, these are the card wings. So they need the wire in there again, just to give it something to hold it. I've got that there and a little strip like this, I'm gonna dampen the card, smooth it in. It's a bit weak at the moment. I'm gonna leave that. Okay, that seems to have worked. Um, I've got some silver spray now. I'm gonna spray both sides, so they're gonna have to dry. I might as well spray the back whilst that's drying. I hope this works. All right, here goes nothing. Look at that, it's like really bad suntan lotion application. 
I'm not sure if you can see, but as it's drying, it's starting to like bend a little bit. So it's going to give it maybe a bit more of a realistic shape accidentally. I was going to move on to finishing off my cake, but um, this is touch dry already. Awesome. So I'm just making some finishing touches and I think, to be honest, the best thing I did was actually go to London and just leave it and let it kind of fully dry up. That's an optional step. You don't have to do this if you're going to try and do that. So I'm going to leave this and those wings should be dried now. We're going to slice them to see if we make a wingy feathery effect. Hark! It is the sound of the silver wing! <laughs> Look! It's worked! Okay, I mean there's a little bit bumpy there, but we'll hopefully blend it in now by slicing it and making it look feathery. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look! It's a wing! <laughs> and there's my other one! Amazing! I totally winged that step. Please don't break! Please don't break! How's that look? Huh? <laughs> You're a wizard, Barry. I think I've smashed that. I'm really, really happy. Oops. So that's the cake done. Here is a bonus recipe for something called butter beer. I think I've got the perfect glass for it, but we'll come to that in a minute. Anyhow, we need to first up whip some cream until Tim Peaks form. Get it? Tim Peaks? Sorry, this is actually Phoebe's book. So she got it for her birthday as well. She also got this which was very, very expensive, but it looks cool and I'm jealous. So this is double, AKA heavy cream. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. Tim Peaks. So in goes two heaped spoonfuls of icing sugar. And apparently this is some butterscotch sauce. I have no idea the reference of butterscotch. Maybe Harry casts a spell on some butterscotch or something like that. A good old squeeze of this. And then we uh, just kind of fold it through. Apparently the actual drink itself, this is some um, cream soda, which is very, very nice. Quite naughty for you. Apparently it's this. This is chilled. I've got three bottles just in case. Oh, Barry Potter style there making a potion. Look at that. <laughs> but apparently we drop a little bit of caramel extract. It's about half a teaspoon. And this is butter extract, which I've never tried before. It kind of smells like how I'd imagine Harry Potter to smell like. Like a stick of butter. Yeah, a few squirts of that. About the equivalent of half a teaspoon as well. Now we take the uh, whiskey step. I don't, don't add whiskey, kids. All right, so I guess we just uh, pour our flavored <laughs> cream soda in. And then we get some of our chilled cream mixture. <laughs> get some on the counter. And then just stick it on there. It's a bit like a ice cream float again, isn't it? <laughs> Have I done it? I haven't even seen Harry Potter, but I think I think we've done all right. That and that. Hello, birthday girl. Hello. Come see. Wow, that looks cool. Does it look good? Yeah. And what's yeah. behind it? Butterbeer. Is that, is that butterbeer? Did I do good? I know I haven't seen it before, but it looks good. It looks really nice. I've read it in the book, so. You happy? Yes. <laughs> Of course you can. What are you hiding that for? Come here. Whoa, that looks amazing! Look. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, wow! I know yeah. what! How fun! You did it! Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Butterbeer. Butterbeer. <laughs> she takes after mummy. <laughs> mm. Is that <laughs> taste good or...? Yeah, it tastes delicious. Awesome. As it is Phoebe's birthday, we've got some people coming over, so I'll probably get a very small clip on my phone of her having slicing that up that I made. Are you happy though? No, I'm over the moon and back. Awesome, and you're also now 11. Our little baby, 11. So there we go. I have done some movie food years ago in the past. If you want to see more stuff like this, uh, I'll do some more, right, Chloe? Yeah. Right, Mrs. B? Yeah. Right, let's have some cake. Happy birthday, Phoebes. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye. I'm just seeing what a slice looks like. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> wow, that's quite a big piece of cake, please. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Oh, you can have that back.
Thank you. Pfft, don't want that Why do you bother with rubbish like that? Why don't you just what, play video games and stuff like that? Because they're not good for you. Good. That's good. I mean, you take straight after me, don't you? Mm.